We will now make an introduction of our new touchscreen, which are used to operate our freeze dryer. On the screen, you can see that we do have different options to choose. You can go for manual operation, or automatic operation, de-icing, stop mode, setup, service, and info. If you start with info, it will just tell you the information about the software version, serial number, and when it's produced. Going back to main screen, go to service. Here you can see how long, many hours has the vacuum pump been operation and when it's time to change the oil. You can of course reset the hour, uh, so it will just uh, tell you next time when it's time for change the oil. Going back, setup. In setup you can see language selection, pressure and temperature. In language we can choose between English and Danish. Pressure you can choose between hectopascal or torque. And in temperature you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Then you can set the date and time. And in factory settings, that is, our factory set up the complete machine in order to your needs and configuration. Stop mode tells itself it will go back to normal stop. Then we go to manual operation. As soon as you press manual, the compressors will start and bring the temperature down on the condenser. Then you can use the arrows up and down and it will highlight the information you actually see here, so you can see exactly how the process is going. During the, the last one you can see if there has been an alarm, it will be possible to reset it here. Going to automatic, in automatic we do have uh, 10 different programs you can choose. You can edit and start, choose which program you would like to do and then you simply press it and you press edit and when you press edit it will tell you uh, which and it will guide you to do the programming with temperatures and pressures and the time and then you can simply say start and it will run the automatic operation from start to end going back then we have at the end DIS DIS is telling that it will heat up the surface of the condenser in order to defrost the ice we have now given it one hour but you don't need that but in any case you can choose how long time you would like to do it and simply press start and then you can, of course, just press stop and then you will be ready. If you require any more information from that, please contact us at info at Thank you.